Hello, my friends. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, I've got some pom-poms back here added to my garland. Someone said your garland's a little sad back there, and that made me sad. And I knew I wanted to spiff it up somehow. I just hadn't had the time, so we got some pom-poms back there, okay? I think it looks all right. It's springy. I like it. So today is really going to be a Kosas complexion, okay? I've told you guys how much I love this foundation. This is the Revealer Skin Improving Foundation with SPF 25, and I've mentioned in several recent videos how much I'm enjoying this one. It is like the ultimate skin-like foundation. I really enjoy the way it stays on my skin all day. I love the way it applies. I get a real like satisfied feeling after I put it on just because of the overall look of my skin and the fact that it can be not totally full coverage but yet it's doing everything I need it to do, you know? And if you've ever watched someone apply it, like I was watching a Kosas, I guess it was an ad, but you know, just th they're promoting their stuff obviously on their Instagram and they had a model and this stuff was going on, which looked great. But then they went on and they also did the concealer from the same range. And I'm like, wow, that's looking amazing too. And then there's also been a lot of talk about this powder, this cloud set powder. So at that point, and I told you guys I was probably gonna do this, I needed to order those other two steps so I could see what the whole put together face would look like and see if all three elements, you know, three out of three were really necessary or is it still going to be all about the foundation? And I've definitely been satisfied using different powders and concealers with that foundation. I don't think you have to get all three steps, but I will say this concealer has done some impressive things for me. So um, let's just give you a little bit of background in case you know nothing about this. Um, and this brand overall, I mean, they're a lot better than I ever gave them credit for. I had used their tinted oil serum, didn't really like it. I think I used a bronzer that turned out to be just off the charts too intense for me and I really cast that aside quickly and then after that I didn't investigate much that the line had to offer but this oh they say a clean skin improving medium coverage foundation hyaluronic acid niacinamide peptide squalene b5 arnica and caffeine they say it's like a second skin um, they say it's a natural dreamy finish to blur visibly smooth texture and minimize pores it's a Sephora product and it does get that clean at Sephora label okay so I've applied this in some different ways. I've used a sponge. A sponge was fine, but still my favorite way to do it is with the expert face brush. And I'm not wearing any certain primer right now. What's on my skin is my skincare plus um, my sunscreen. So I don't feel like I have to go in with any certain primer to be satisfied with this stuff. And my shade is light plus cool 180. So that's described as light with cool pink undertones. So they say you want to shake it up. And then I feel a full pump, meaning like pushing this down as far as it will go and using that amount, I feel it's a little more than what I need. So I do about a half pump, okay? And that amount is gonna go all over my skin and yes, actually satisfy me very well. Um, so I focus first on the places where I know I want the most coverage to go and then just kind of swipe elsewhere. It really blends from these points where I first put it really nicely. But um, I mean, I feel like I've watched Kosas's posts and you know you see the model putting it on and you think well maybe they just have a way of making this look extra good just for their own account maybe they've done some kind of trick when it comes to promoting this stuff but no like it really goes on the same way on me which is like evening out the skin but looking like the skin's natural texture by that I mean natural skin kind of has a little bit of a sheen, you know, when your skin is completely bare and you got no makeup on, like it's natural for it to have just a little bit of like glow, you know, the surface of the skin. And I feel like this absolutely replicates that, but it also goes and evens out a bunch of stuff. And there's that half pump all over my skin, tackling redness around the nose, tackling some darkness around the eyes, and just evening out everything as a whole. I absolutely love it. This is the moment where you come away from a foundation and you're thinking, yeah, that that's what I'm talking about, you know? Maybe so often I just seek out full coverage because I know like full coverage is gonna 
do everything and there are definitely some foundations that can just blank out all your issues and completely make your skin look so so even but it's almost more of an art for a foundation to not be full coverage but make your skin look this good okay so I'm really enjoying that but then I go and realize that they've got a concealer in the same range and it seems to be really good I will say I've heard fewer raves about this not that I've heard bad stuff about it but I'm, what I'm saying is I just haven't heard much about this period compared to a lot about this so this is called the revealer super creamy plus brightening concealer and daytime eye cream okay so they're really going there with considering these products to be like a skincare makeup hybrid I think even did I see this come up even in the skincare category of Sephora as well they call this medium coverage satin finish um, eye cream and spot treatment and one that visibly brightens and helps reveal better looking skin they say it's for all skin types caffeine and pink algae extract fights dark circles puffiness and dullness they say it covers and reduces the appearance of dark circles but still fully looks like your skin and is clean comfy and clinically tested so I have this in the shade 2.5 C and I have been playing with it for the last few days and I will say I feel like it's doing a really great job I personally feel like it's great coverage but a real selling point to me on this is seeing how it wears throughout the day and how it doesn't look thick at all this is sneaky makeup my friends the foundation the concealer they're sneaky there's a real skin like thing happening here with both of them and so for the concealer I'm gonna give myself a couple dots on the inner part and a little bit right out here okay so I'm not using a ton and then I will also kind of go down the nose area around my nose just for a little extra help on any redness and I like to hit the chin because basically this concealer is going to be a little bit brightening on me for the tone and it gives the skin a little more dimension so I just go in with this brush from Real Techniques it's technically a highlighter brush but I think it's perfect for concealer and I go in dabbing over this stuff and I'm actually kind of surprised that they described this as medium coverage because I just I feel like man that really handled things did it not so we've got it all blended in right there on the inner part of the eye right around here and it just it, it doesn't look like anything makeup -y is there so a lot of things can look that good at the onset so that doesn't necessarily impress me you know um, there are a lot of things that can be freshly blended in look amazing and then totally not look like that after several hours into your day but this like stays wearing exactly the same I'm just pr doing a pressing motion my friends I'm not doing any kind of crazy magic here I'm not doing any kind of difficult technique I'm just pressing the product in I feel like the shade is probably you know just a, a slight step up it's a really perfect shade for me because it's allowing the skin to be a little more brightened in this under eye area and just center of the face compared to the foundation and I just have to admit that it's really good now do I also like my elf hydrating camo concealer yes I do this is a little less um, thick compared to that okay texture wise I mean it's really not the thinnest concealer I've ever used it's not like watery but it's somewhat light while also being hydrating touching the under eye I do feel like it feels supple so here we are sitting here with this foundation and concealer on and I'm just loving the look of the surface of my skin like I just I don't have any complaints my skin looks really natural you can look up close you can still maybe see a few like freckles around but there's just an undeniable natural seeming radiance here okay so like they really pulled it off this stuff is sneaky and it is good the foundation is still my number one because I've had it long enough to see it work well with a number of different concealers not just this one and I know you know it can look good with elf it can look good with other high-end concealers but I will say that I like this concealer for the same reasons I like this they're definitely like great partner products they work together so well they look so seamless and even like you know how sometimes you put on a concealer especially before you totally finish your makeup look your under eye can have like a totally different vibe going than the rest of the skin it might be way more matte it might look thicker 
over it. It just might look like it has a completely different texture than your foundation. Well, these two, because they are like so the same kind of formula, you just can't tell where one stops and the other begins. They just work together very nicely. And then we come into this powder. So this is called Cloud Set, and I'm going to pull that up on here as well. Um, this looks like kind of a baked domed powder here. See that? I got this in what I believe is the second shade. So it comes in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different colors. Shade is called Breezy. It looks like the lightest one is called Airy. That's sheer very light, and this one is just described as sheer light. The next deepest one is called Sheer Light Medium. They say this is a super soft, sheer, setting and smoothing powder baked with skin care that sweeps away shine, not glow. Feels like nothing, but looks like everything. Um, it's a really good powder, my friends. I have seen people go at this with like the tip of a brush to sort of agitate the product and make more come off on your brush, but I have not had one thought that not enough was coming off on my brush. I will tell you that. Like if I go in with my e.l.f. small tapered brush and get on here, you know, I can really stir a little bit up. It's not the softest powder ever, but like I can certainly get plenty on my brush at one time. And then I'm obviously thinking about setting the under eye with this. So I go on with it. And the interesting thing about this, this is a very like fine powder. When it comes down to like getting on the skin, it's not thick at all. And you will set your under eye, but then you might go ahead and touch your under eye and be like, well, it feels just as moist and dewy as it was before. Okay, you feel me? Like it's thin, it's light, it's very, very sneaky. It might mattify you just a little bit more but you still have a lot of glow remaining. But like, I feel like I have to go over my under eye a few times with this just to make sure that that texture is not something sticky that I feel like is gonna grab like my lower uh, lower lash line eye makeup, you know? That's a concern for me because that that's a real thing. When you've got so much moisture from a concealer right there up to your lower lash line and then you go putting eye makeup on there, you can't be surprised when after a couple hours things are starting to transfer down. So I still, I feel like I have to hit it with product several times because this is light. It's not like there's not enough coming off, because look, every time I go in, I'm getting some on, but I'm going back and going back and going back, and then I'm kind of feeling like, okay, that feels set now. Does anybody else feel that way with this? Like they just, it, to really feel set, you have to go over it a few times, but it still doesn't look like heavy. <laughs> so that's a testament to how fine this powder is. Um, they say the coverage is light, the finish is natural, it's just a pressed powder. They say it's an ultra fine layer of sheer pigment. That's a very good description. The powder is so fine that if you're truly looking to change the texture, or the feel of the surface of the skin, you'll need to apply a decent amount. But I do think it's so like undetectable seeming. Now you guys know I've been enjoying my NYX No Filter powder, which is a very similar looking format here with that baked idea. But from what I can tell, the Kosas is much more of a matte finish and not so off the charts matte that like you don't have any glow still to your skin because I can still see some glow. But this actually has more of a real visible soft pearlescent thing mixed into the powder, okay? So they're truly not exactly the same. What Kosas has put out here, it makes me think of something that like Laura Geller needs to put out, okay? A really light coverage version of her baked stuff. And if you look even deeper on the description on Sephora's website, they will say like they did a 20 person study and 100% of the people th felt that this made their skin look like real skin. 100% said this did not cause flashback or oxidize. And 100% agreed that the product blurs smooths and minimizes the appearance of pores and imperfections. I definitely can't see any pores on my nose right now, but I thought I was doing pretty well with just the foundation and concealer on too. I want to just move on with this step because this is what I really like all over the skin. This does have just a little more glow to it um, and it'll set everything and really let the foundation keep looking like itself. So I just thought that was an interesting comparison that the other, oops, my hair's coming out of my bun. 
the other does not have as much shimmer, the Kosas. Not as much pearlescent quality, I should say. If you want to be set all over, this is a, still a really great and very unique option. So guys, this is the look that I get with my Kosas Trio. What I'm going to go ahead and do is finish the rest of my makeup look. Um, I'll show you what the whole face looks like with everything done, and we'll wrap it up. Okay, gang, so here we are with the whole finished look. So since I was last on here, I've put on bronzer. I'm using my LYS bronzer today. I used that really cheery pink blush from Persona in the shade Bubble. That's the new shade of Super Blush. Got that on. Um, I used my L'Oreal Lumi Glow Nude Palette for highlight. This is really interesting. These powders are so firm, but yet they give a really pretty subtle glow, and it's in the shade Moon Kissed. So I've got a couple of these shades on. I used my Doll Squad palette that came from the Boise Beauty collection from Doll 10 Makeup. I'm really just wearing a few basic light shades here. Um, this, 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 and this. Just a soft, easy look on the eyes, and then my lips. I'm wearing one of these CoverGirl Clean Fresh Balms in the shade Life is Pink. So one of these very basic little tinted lip balms that still feel mm, so nice on the lips. This one's a little less creamy than You're the Palm, but I do like the shade for a little pop of something different. But here's my wrap up on this. Okay, you saw me apply the Kosas foundation, the concealer, and the powder. To me, their order of essentialness to me, their order of what's needed most goes exactly like that. I think this is my number one product. I think the foundation is the most impressive thing. Um, I think it's amazing what it can do with half a pump all over the skin. Um, skin looks like skin when you're done, but yet it has enough coverage to really pack a punch and even some things out. It wears incredibly well all day. Granted, I haven't put it through a real sweaty day yet, but I'm going to keep, you know, trying it throughout the seasons, and I guess I can report back on that. Um, the concealer is beautiful. It pairs really nicely with the foundation, but what I've learned in using this for a few weeks here is that I can be satisfied with the foundation with several other concealers too, but this is still a great product. I think it's even better coverage than they're selling it as. I think it's better than just a medium coverage, but I think it could be really good for those who struggle with a cakiness developing on the under eye area. Like if you feel like no matter what you do, no matter how minimal you are with the application of other concealers, you still feel like you're really seeing it settling in there as the day goes on. This doesn't give me any makeup-y look at all. In that sense, maybe it is just as essential as the foundation, but I'm just saying if I could only get one of these three, it would have to be this. This is following not too far behind. And then after that, you know, this powder, I like it. Maybe I'm going to continue to like it even more the more I use it. I think it's a very interesting powder. It would be very good for the person who wants the most minimal application of powder um, because it's so fine and I do not feel like it's a struggle at all to get it on my brush. I do not need to grind into my product. Maybe some people have had to, but that's not the issue here. It's just, it's a very lightweight powder and it does take a little more than I might have expected, you know, going back and forth, back and forth to actually feel like my under eye is set free from tackiness. But I'm going to keep playing with this. I'm going to keep using it because I do like how undetectable it looks on the skin. But that being said, I've definitely used this. I've put on a concealer. I've set it with my Wet n Wild Loose Powder and absolutely loved the look. You know, I was raving on this before these two little friends came along, okay? So I still think foundation is number one for me. That concealer is something special and the powder is very nice, but I can get by with a lot of different powders and still like my look. By the way, I didn't mention I've got on my Cali Ray mascara today, Revlon Brow Creator on there as well, and I used also the eyeliner from the Dalton collection. So Boise Beauty, if you're not familiar with her, she's on um, Instagram and she posts a lot of great makeup content there, like face of the day, explaining what she's wearing, hauls and different things like that, and she got this collection and I was you know, fairly familiar. I've done videos on Doll 10 before, but a lot of this stuff that was in her collection, I really hadn't tried before. So they've got these great eyeliners with the twist off cap, kind of like um, Smashbox did. I'm not sure if they're still doing, but it truly is like the best pencil eyeliner format because you get that fresh pointed tip every time. This cap twists off and reforms it every single time and it was so easy to put on. It's this really, really dark brown and I've got it going across the upper lash line. And I'm not sure if like the products in her set were are sold individually. I think they are. It's the Doll Squad palette, the eyeliner. There's the Doll Skin Perfecting Treatment Powder. It was also in that. 
um, this big thing of Smooth Assist Skin Energy Daily Renewing Souffle, like a face cream. Need to, need to play with that one a bit more. And also a gloss. So a really nice set, and I know that that has sold out, but like I said, I think maybe some individual pieces can still be um, gotten. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this info on Kosas, and I love you. Bye.